Hi, the next topic is matrix representation. So this is similar to chapter six. Originally, we defined an equation for each observation, and then we develop a expression with matrix representation for all observations combined. So one way layout is this equation, xij is equal to y, the alpha sub i plus epsilon ij. And the, we wanna use the matrix representation to represent this. So example, so suppose that we have the data with seven observations. We have three groups, the group one, group two, group three, and the variable is length. And we have the values for length. So we have three groups, i is equal to one to three, capital I is equal to, capital L is equal to three in this, um, case and the sample size for each group is the three, two, two. Then the matrix representation for this is this. So first group is here. So the, this first column is the indicator function for first group. Indicator function for first group. So for example, the alpha, so x11, x11 is the 100 times this vector alpha one, alpha two, alpha three. So the product of this is one, one times alpha one plus zero times alpha two plus zero times alpha three. So this is alpha one plus epsilon one one. So this represents, so this becomes the original equation we defined. And the same thing for the uh, second group and the third group. So second group, second, indicator, the indicator function for the second group and the third group, indicator function for the third group. So um, this looks similar to the linear regression if we think this is y, this is x, this is beta, and this is epsilon. So actually the all estimation of alpha, alpha one, alpha two, alpha three is done by the same LM function. So one way layout is a kind of a different version of linear regression. And a different parameterization. So in the previous um, example, I mean the previous the matrix representation example, the first column, first column is not intercept. In a linear regression, everything was one in the first column and the second column, x1 to xn. So it's good if the first column for one way layout is also an intercept, then almost entirely that this is the same as linear regression. Actually, the multiple linear regression have multiple columns for x. We have multiple the predictors, x1, x2, x3. So, um, so it's good to have intercept as the first column. So another representation is here. The xij is equal to mu plus alpha i plus epsilon ij. But we have only um, maybe the L groups. And if we have the mu and we use alpha one to alpha L, then um, we have some redundancy. So, um, so here I use n, so there are n groups for the Factor, but the, um, we have one, the redundant i. So the, in this case that we use only the mu and alpha two, alpha three up to alpha n. So we don't use alpha one. So otherwise that we have too many parameters so we cannot, we cannot identify the parameters. And sometimes, Excuse me. The sometimes that we just um, don't assume alpha one is equal to zero, but instead the summation is equal to zero, we assume. So in this the model, the xij is equal to mu plus alpha i plus epsilon ij model. The 
matrix representation that becomes this. So first group, second group, and third group. So first one is intercept. And the second group, we have the second one. And the third group, we have third one. So I think that this should be mu. So in this case, that you can see that the x11 is equal to one times mu. So actually a mu. So alpha one does not exist, plus epsilon one one. But second group, the 8.9 is mu plus alpha two plus epsilon two one. So in this case, uh, um, yeah, so alpha one does not exist. So in this case, basically the mu represents a kind of alpha one. So the um, effect for the first level and alpha two represents the difference between the two groups. So here the mu is the mean level for first group. And the meaning of alpha two is the mean level of second group minus mean level of first group. So interpretation is different, even though we use, we still use the symbol alpha sub two. And alpha three, alpha three is also mean level for third group minus mean level for first group. So first group is the baseline. So this is the um, another representation of the ANOVA. And in chapter six, we only have the two columns for matrix X. It's called the model matrix or design matrix. But in general, that we have the P predictors. So um, in chapter six, we have just variable X. So we write the X sub one, X sub two, X sub N. But the, now that we think about the multiple predictors such as the weight, height, and the BMI, and so on in the health data. So the, we have to specify, we have to um, need an index to represent the first predictor, second predictor, and third predictor. So we say this as x11, x12 to x1n. Then the piece predictor is xp1. The value of the piece predictors are P, xp1, xp2, and xpn. So multiple um, regression linear regression model has the, this uh, matrix representation. So actually the chapter seven is just the special case of this multiple uh, linear regression. And X is called design matrix or model matrix.